Hello everyone and welcome back to Nine Nails Garage. Today we got an awesome video planned for you on my 2006 Dodge Viper Coupe. We're going to be doing a lot of interior work on it. We're going to be getting that interior back to 100% just like it was from the factory. So we got a few things planned. We've got new seats over here that we are going to be putting in the car. These are factory takeouts from a wreck Dodge Viper. We've got new floor mats we picked up from rockauto.com. I believe those were, they were like 67 bucks or something. It was an awesome deal. We've got a new uh, exhaust warning decal that goes on the driver's side that's a little messed up. And we're just gonna go through the interior and uh, just clean it up. We've got still got the window sticker and a bunch of other stuff on the windshield there. Uh, we're gonna get that all cleaned up back 100%. We also have a new shift boot and a matching parking brake boot and the lower shift boot we're gonna be putting on. I believe that one's riveted in, but that's the one that keeps all the exterior elements from coming inside the car and right now we've got heat coming in through the shifter bezel there and I believe that's the issue we're having so we're gonna pull those out and replace them our seats over here as you can see the bolster on this passenger seat from people getting in and out of it has seen better days I mean other than that the seats really aren't in too bad shape but we do want the interior of this car to be 100% like it was from the factory and as you can see it's just kind of dirty in here this is how I got the car this is not my doing but we do want to get it all detailed up. It must have been sitting in a barn somewhere with maybe windows cracked. But um, but yeah, so it's a little dusty, a little dirty in there. We're going to get all that detailed. The trunk is a little dirty as well. We're going to clean all that up, get all the dust out of there, get it all wiped down and protected. Uh, driver's side seat over here, um, there was a hole that was fixed in it. So that's another reason the seat's got to go and we got to get the new ones in here. Other than that, the dashboard and everything else is in pretty good shape. Shifter, you know, everything like that. The bezel here, I'm okay with that. Just, uh, for the most part, it needs to be clean. I am going to try something with these door handle surrounds here. As you can see, this uh, coating on it is kind of like rubbery and it's kind of peeling off. So what I'm going to try to do is this is, you know, almost kind of reminds me of a really thin layer of Plasti Dip. So, because it is does have that rubbery kind of texture to it. So we are going to try to put Plasti Dip over this and uh, and see if it matches. If it works and it turns out good, we'll keep it. If not, we'll just peel it off and uh, and probably just try to get the rest of this stuff off of here. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. I think the first thing I'm going to start out with is we're going to Plasti Dip that, that door handle surround and see if that turns out. If it doesn't, we're going to peel it off, like I said, and uh, just kind of go from there. But then we're going to go ahead and condition and clean these leather seats before we put them in the car just to make sure we get every square inch and it's going to be a lot easier with them here on the workbench. So uh, then we'll pull the old seats out, put the new ones in and start working on those uh, shift boots. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and put our first coat on right now. I think the door handle came out pretty good. I did put, uh, I think, five coats of Plasti Dip on it. Turned out really good. I'm gonna wait for it to, to dry a little bit more before I pull this off and pull that off and also that. But um, yeah, for the most part, I think it came out pretty dang close compared to the dashboard there. And uh, you know, it has that rubbery texture. So once you put a little armor all on it, I don't even think you're really gonna notice. So I am gonna do that other side to match. And yeah, it's just gonna be that much better. So 
there is a tint, and I guess you can kind of tell it's got maybe a really, really light tint to it. But it was torn up right there, had that hole in it, so we did remove it. And I think it looks better without it. Brand new windshield underneath. All right, so our seats turned out absolutely amazing. Really happy with the way they cleaned up and the way the conditioner just kind of made them look a lot more fresh. They smell literally brand new and uh, you know, they look brand new. So I think that's gonna be a huge improvement over the seats that are in there now. Right now, we're gonna go ahead, and get the seats out of there and then we're gonna start taking the center console apart. just like I thought you can see down in there that lower shift boot is definitely ripped and there's a giant hole there so and then if you look all the way down you can see the transmission so that is definitely where a lot of heat is coming through the center console and uh, that's not the way it was designed so we are definitely going to replace that but in order to do so we got to get this other console piece out of here um, rather than just taking out that trim piece. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now that we got the center console out of the way, we'll drill out the eight rivets that hold the boot in, cut the zip tie, and pull the boot out. So we did get that lower shift boot drilled out and we got all of the rivets taken out as well. As you can see, these rivets here, these three, are in actual uh, tubing. So it's in a steel tubing. So I had to make some kind of magnet to see if I could get them. And I snaked all of them out through, there's a little access hole right here. I don't know if that's exactly what that hole is for, but um, I definitely wanted to get all those rivets out of there. Otherwise, every time you hit the brakes or hit the gas, you would hear them roll back and forth in this whole tube. It would probably sound like a bunch of acorns and it would drive you nuts. So I was able to get them all out of there. If you do do this in your Viper, make sure you get them out of there. Otherwise you're gonna hear them later on. For now, I'm gonna wipe everything down in here. You probably get that other driver's seat out. 
and clean everything up, wipe everything down, wipe down the dashboard, everything else, um, including this, and uh, vacuum that back area, the trunk area. So we got the trunk all vacuumed up and it looks absolutely amazing. I pulled that mat out of there and got underneath it. And uh, yeah, looks awesome. Really happy with it. Really happy with the way this car is coming along. So that's gonna be about all for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Hello everyone and welcome back. So it is the next day here. Our Plasti Dip is fully dried. These I got from redlinegoods.com and I believe they were about, I think it was around $120 for both of them. They are real genuine leather and uh, they're done. They can do them in all kinds of custom colors for their stitching and everything. I thought it was a cool company. They make all kinds of shift boots. I think they make steering wheel covers and uh, uh, a lot of other upholstery pieces. So it is actually a few days later and I just got my shift boot in the mail from Rock Auto. There was a little delay. I think there was a mix up or something. It got sent to the wrong address, but we got it now. We have got our new pop rivets, quarter inch ready to go. So I got two different sizes because I wasn't sure, but I believe it's that size is what's gonna do the trick. So we're gonna go ahead, throw the new boot in, and then we'll throw our console back together starting with this, then that, and uh, we'll get our seats in, floor mats, and we will be done with the interior 
in this car. Give her one last vacuum and uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. So something I did notice and I thought it was worth mentioning, as soon as I opened this up from the package, I did notice it was a lot different than this old style here. So it looks like Mopar has updated their style to something a little more, uh, a little more forgiving and a little more flexible rather than this one. You can see there's multiple multiple bellows in there. So it looks like this is a little better design and it's probably gonna last a little bit longer. So in case you're wondering what the part number is, I'll put it in the description for those of you that are looking to do this um, on your Viper. But that is it right there. So the interior is 100% done on this car. It turned out absolutely amazing. I am so happy with it. The new seats are awesome. The floor mats are great. And uh, the shift boots really complement this car just perfectly. I went with the silver, silver stitching to kind of go with the stripe. And uh, I think it was an awesome choice. I think it looks great. Also, while I had the car apart, I did do a separate video on fixing the rattle in the subwoofer. There's actually a baffle inside there that um, that needs to be secured or needs to have foam put in or you can remove the baffle but I did do a video on removing the subwoofer enclosure removing all the trim around it and everything and how to get it out of there so check that video out if you need it but aside from that I am super happy with the interior everything is perfectly clean the trunk is clean got stripes in the carpet just like it should be and uh, not one speck of dust in here super happy with it it smells brand new it looks brand new it looks how a car like this should look seats again are perfect no rips no tears no wrinkles and yeah super happy with it everything is just coming along so nice we got our window adjusted we got a tune-up done we got the underbody detailed interior detailed and kind of renewed all we have left to do is a basic paint correction on the car and a nice ceramic wax on it so i'm going to throw out there if i do reach a thousand subscribers by let's say the first of the year january 1st 2021 i will give these seats away on the channel and uh somebody can do something cool with them use them for a project use them for shop seats whatever you want they could be your computer chair i don't really care but i think they're cool and i think uh, they could definitely be repurposed so stay tuned and look for those in the future so thanks for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it Stay tuned, there's a lot more cool videos coming on this car. We're gonna do a lot more cool things with it. Once we get the car 100% done, we're gonna take it out on the road and have some fun with it. We're also gonna be listing the car for sale, so look for that if you're interested. So stay tuned to find out if I made money or I lost money on the car, and also how much money I put into the car. Everything, I'm gonna tell you everything I put into the car, so stay tuned for that. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Hope you have a great rest of your day.